As learners arrived for the first day for face-to-face -face learning, some schools were still preparing to implement COVID-19 health measures as learners had to be properly sensitized and educated about the regulations. Schools are ready and uh, their schools have really gone an extra mile for them to be able to ensure that the classes are ready for the learners, the dormitories are cleaned, um, learners were given also their masks that they should be wearing all the time. Um, I also want to indicate that uh, I have observed that schools are really adhering to the protocols such as uh, hygiene, general hygiene of schools, uh, taking temperatures and registering of staff members or any visitor coming into the school, which is really a requirement. All required materials were in place and all learners had to go through the process which involves washing of hands, hand sanitizing, temperature checks and wearing of face masks. One of the challenges that some schools identified is the class space for social distancing as the number of learners in some cases is over 40. One can still tell that the, the, the spaces between learners is not really going to be enough. But of course we are trying by all means. We, we may also end up dividing the classes further. We still have three classrooms that are not occupied. And uh, we thought then, looking at the, the fetish and looking at the number of teachers, maybe we could not divide it further. But uh, I believe we will be forced by the situation. I feel like it's a lot of risk because we are still a lot in the class. We are just supposed to be 10, but we are 30, so it's a high risk. And we are not used to our classmates. We are like changed. Mm -hmm. Now we have new classmates and probably new, new teachers. It's mm -hmm. just not nice. Some schools also went further and identified additional classrooms to be utilized as isolation facilities in case of any eventuality. We have um, uh, some two rooms at the hostel. Mm -hmm. The sick bay for the girls, the sick bay for the boys. Mm -hmm. So anything suspicious, we'll be able to isolate our learners and then uh, monitor the temperature. If it does not change for good, then we call the number. The school management agreed to engage the Regional Social Mobilization Subcommittee to assist in the education of learners and teachers on COVID-19. It shows that learners need to be informed. They need to be prepared emotionally. They also need to be prepared for the work at hand. 